do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos new chapter two hinge parabolic arches introduction and concepts hello friends today we are studying a new chapter this name as two hinge arches why we are studying two hinge arches because in structural analysis 2 we will deal with a indeterminate structure the indeterminate structure is nothing but the structure which is not analyzed by the condition of equilibrium is known as indeterminate structure so let's see in details two hinge arches now see two hinge parabolic arches today we are seeing two hinge parabolic arches introduction and their concepts now see the arches will be look like this arches will be look like this as we are seeing a two hinge arches so this is your first hinge and this one is your second hinge in previous in essay one we will deal with three three hinge arches because we, there we are studying determinant structure here we are studying indeterminate structure now see how will we will get indeterminate structure see in fixed in sorry in hinge we have two reaction and in hinge also we have two reaction means number of reaction will be four and condition of equilibrium will be three so it is a indeterminate structure now as this distance is nothing but this is your total l means span and this is your riser this is rise h and this is point c is nothing but crown of the arches now as you all knows in this type we have two reactions this c first one will be this is your a part this is b part and this is your c part now c first we have here va and h is always inwards as you all knows in arches we will deal with h is always inward then vb then hb why h is always inwards if because if it is a arch if you are applying the load from upward the arch will be the, your arch will be at point a and joint b will open the arch to to resist this do not open the arch we will using the resistance force as nothing but ha and hb so remember carefully in arches we always assumed h is always inward okay now after that take one section over here take one section over here at x x at a distance x from a this distance is x at a distance x from a this is x and this distance is nothing but y this distance is your y now now the the actual bending moment at section is given by the actual bending moment at section is given by means here we are taking section bending moment at x will be m minus h a into y m is nothing but moment minus h into y where m is nothing but b moment and this is your minus h moment b moment minus h moment okay now in the in asset what to in two hinge arches we are using one formula to find h in sa1 in determinant structure we directly apply bending moment at c and we can find the for bend the value of h but in this one in this one we have used one formula of h this formula will be we can use the formula of h the formula will be h is equal to integration of my dx upon integration of y square dx this is a important formula in this chapter you can remember to find h okay so remember this formula carefully and y is nothing but as you all knows 
4h upon l square into lx minus x square is nothing a parabolic equation so okay okay now now take one let write one note for any problem h is equal to integration of m y dx upon integration of y square dx now now keep remember one things just simply you can remember in two hinge arches you have to remember one formula to find h we can use formula integration of m y dx upon integration of y square dx that's it and y is equal to 4h upon l square into lx minus x square you can remember this two formula we have done with this chapter okay so now after that to find h when we are finding we are using this formula there are certain cases that we can check whether our answer will be correct or not so let's see what are these cases now let's see this is a case one in case one what the case one says to us two hinge arches arches of span l meter rise h meter carries a concentrated load of w at the crown means we are using this is a this is our for this is our sums if udl if sorry if point load is at the center w and the distance will be l by 2 this is l but total distance will be l this is your h this is first hinge this is second hinge to check whether the, our h will be but please remember carefully while finding in exam when we are finding h always use the formula h is equal to integration of m y dx upon integration of y square dx okay don't directly use this formula h is equal to 25 upon 120 into w l by it is just for the check for, okay when you have to check whether your answer is correct or not at that time you have to use this formula only no need to use direct formula if you are using the one you are lose one to two marks okay now this is the first case when we have point load at center, the formula of H will be 25 upon 128 into WL by 2. Now let's move to the next another case. A 2 hinge parabolic arch of span L and rise H carries a UDL of W kN per meter on left half of this span. Means UDL is left half of this span in the arches. Means like this. So its formula will be H is equal to WL square upon 16H. Now let's move into case 3. Now case 3 is what says to us a 2 hinge parabolic arches of span L rise edge carries a UDL of W kN per meter on the entire span the entire span W kN per meter square see if we UDL over the entire span H formula will be WL square upon 8H now let's move on to third fourth case a 2 hinge parabolic arch of span L rise edge carries UDL of W kN per meter and a distance of from left hand side of a from left hand side means we have certain distance at a in udl so our formula will be h is equal to w a square upon 16 h raised to 3 into 5 l raised to 3 minus 5 l a raised square plus 2 a raised to 3 this is a formula so if you don't remember this formula it's not necessary to remember the formula because you are finding by the formulas h is equal to y square upon uh, sorry integration of m y d m y dx upon integration of y square dx so no need to remember these formulas only for check these three formulas you can remember this one two and this one is three there are such many more cases to remember this formula but with exam we can't remember this whole formula so that's why we use the direct integration formula which is equal to y square d integration of m y upon integration of y square dx okay so remember this two, three cases only i hope you understand this video share with your friend and yes don't forget to subscribe to the ikeda channel thank you